we have clear understanding of continuous time energy signals we know how to calculate the total energy of a continuous time signal and we know how to find out if the given continuous time signal is an energy signal or a power signal so let's revise these points quickly let's say there is a continuous time signal xt and the total energy of this continuous time signal xt which is represented by uppercase e is equal to integration from minus infinity to plus infinity mod of the signal whose energy we want to calculate whole square dt so using this we can calculate the total energy of a continuous time signal which is xt in this case now if we talk about discrete time signal xn then the total energy represented by uppercase e again is equal to summation in place of integration we will have summation because in case of discrete time signals we have samples and therefore we will add the samples and hence we have the summation and we will perform the summation from n equal to minus infinity to n equal to plus infinity and we will perform the summation of mod the signal which is xn whole square so in this way we can calculate the total energy of a discrete time signal which is xn now we will talk about the next important point and that is discrete time energy signals but first we will revise what are continuous time energy signals in case of continuous time energy signals when you calculate the total energy you will find it is finite so whenever the total energy is finite we say this signal is an energy signal and we have proved that when total energy is finite the average power p is equal to zero and the same condition is there for discrete time energy signals as well so for discrete time energy signals the energy is going to be finite which you can calculate from here and the power will be zero we have already derived this expression and we have proved that power will be zero when energy is finite so it is expected to have the knowledge of continuous time energy signals now we will move on to the next point we already know energy signals energy signals are absolutely integrable signals they are absolutely integrable signals but in case of discrete time signals we are not integrating but we are performing the summation so we will say energy signals which are discrete time energy signals are absolutely summable they are absolutely summable signals and the condition for a signal which is discrete time signal to be absolutely summable is very simple simply perform the summation of mod of the signal from n equal to minus infinity to infinity and if the result you obtain is less than infinity smaller than infinity then we will say that the signal xn is absolutely summable and i hope you remember the condition for a signal to be absolutely integrable in that scenario when you perform the integration from minus infinity to infinity mod xt dt and you get the result of this integration to be less than infinity then we say the continuous time signal is absolutely integrable similarly in this case we have performed summation instead of integration and now we will move on to one example 
In this example, signal Xn is given it is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 is the value of signal Xn when n is equal to 0. This makes 2 as the value of Xn when n is equal to 1, 3 is the value of Xn when n is equal to 2, 4 is the value when n is equal to 3 and 5 is the value when n is equal to 4 and we are required to find the total energy of signal Xn. This means we need to find E. So let's move on to the solution of this example. We know the total energy of a discrete time signal is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity mod the discrete time signal we are having square and in case of signal xn you can see that the signal value is non-zero from n equal to zero to n equal to four so we will perform the summation from n equal to zero to n equal to four and it is very easy to solve for the total energy you simply need to calculate the square of the mod of each of these values and then add them. Square of mod of 1 is equal to 1 plus square of mod of 2 is equal to 4. Similarly, we have 9, 16 and 25. When you add all these values, you will get 55 joules as the total energy of signal xn and here you can see that the total energy is finite it is 55 which is a finite value it is not infinity and therefore signal xn is an energy signal and its power will be equal to zero so this is all for this lecture i will end it here see you in the next one